In this lesson, we're going to cover creating posts and events for your website. Once you've registered to become a blogger for your community, log in to Watermark Connect and use this Start Blogging button to access your community website. Once you've hit the red Start Blogging button, you'll end up at a screen that looks like this. As you can see, there's a large icon that says Add Post, another one that says Add Event, and a third one that says Add Review. We won't be covering Add Review today, but we will in a further lesson. So let's get started with adding a post. Hit that icon and you'll end up at a screen like this. A post has three parts. It has a title, it has textual content that goes here, and then through these features down here you can add media. You can add a single photo or a bunch of photos to form a gallery. You can also add a PDF by just clicking here, and then you can also add YouTube video that you've already uploaded to the Watermark uh, channel on YouTube. We'll look at all of these uh, right now. So let's get started and we'll add a title to our post. And then we'll add a little bit of text. And um, now we'll add some photos. To do that, you just click here at the Add Photo button. And although you have access to the media library, we expect that you'll probably be uploading photos from your own computer um, that you've saved somewhere that you are able to find pretty easily. So I'm just going to do Select Files. And then I'm going to go to my desktop where I know I've saved some photos. I have a folder called Photos. I'm going to pick up some photos here. And I'll just select a few by selecting the top one and then holding down my shift key on the bottom one. And I have those four selected. Um, they're uploading now. And once they're uploaded, you just hit the select button down here and it adds them to your post. And you can see them here. Um, if you want to add captions, just type them in here. You don't have to add captions though. Um, if you want to reorder them, just drag them around like this. If you want to uh, delete one, just hit there and it's deleted. If you want to add another one, just click there and then click Add Photo. And again, you'll end up um, in the area where you can upload files, but you can also just go to the media library. We'll select another one from our desktop and upload it. It's uploading and we will hit select. So those are four files, uh, um, images, for this post. Again, um, you can reorder, subtract, and add as you want to. This top photo is important because it's your featured photo. It's the most important um, photo in your post. When your post goes out to Google+, and when it goes out to Facebook, this is the, the photo that's going to show. So make sure you get your strongest photo, the one you like best, up here at the top. And that is the only one that's required for each post. Each post must have a featured photo. If you want to add um, a PDF, just click here, and then you'll get this interface. And again, you can just go to your computer and figure out where you've stored them, and then upload them. So I'm going to select this one. And again, it is uploading. It's a little bit bigger, so it's going to take a little bit longer. But then I'm going to select it. And then this is where I put the text for the link. And we'll look at all of this when we publish this post. But right now I'm going to say um, click to see uh, this document. Oops. So that's done. And then if you wanted to add a YouTube video, um, you would just go here and then you'd go out to YouTube and this will be covered um, individually with communities so they can up learn how to upload um, videos. But I'm just going out to the Watermark channel. I'm going to select this one um, and I'm going to get the, the URL right here and I'm going to select it and then um, put it in the post here. So in this post, which is rather full, 
we have a YouTube video, we have a document to download, and it'll, the link will say click to see this document, and then we have four photos, and this is our featured image. A little bit of text. Um, the last thing we need to do to publish it is just pick um, a category. And the categories will be a little bit different for each community depending on what makes sense, but it's always pretty easy to figure out which one is right for your um, post. So after you have all that done, you have a title, you have a little bit of text if you want, you have some photos, but at least one, and you may have um, PDF, and you may have uh, YouTube video, you're going to hit publish. And it says, are you ready to go? These will be published to Facebook and Google. So we are ready to go. We're going to hit publish. Um, and then we can view, it's going to tell you that it, when it's been posted out to um, Facebook and Google. We can view the post here. And so you can see that um, we have our title, we have a little bit of text, we have our um, gallery here. And then this will download that document. And we'll just cancel out of there. And then this is the video um, that we embedded from YouTube, which is a fun dance for at 3030 Park. Okay, so let's go look at the um, posts. To get back into the post, you just go here and edit post. Um, let's go look at the posts um, out on the social media. So first we'll go out to Google Plus and look at this post um, on the Google Plus page. You can see that there's a lot of posts that have already been posted from the website out to Google Plus. And this is the one that we just made. So there's the featured image. Um, this is the title. This is the link to the post. Um, and then there's that little bit of text that we put in. So if we click here, we come back to the post. Um, on our website from Google+. Plus. Um, and here it is on Facebook, uh, much the same thing. The title is up here, the little bit of text, um, and then we can click on that image and also come back to the post here. So um, everything that you post on your website will be automatically posted to Facebook and Google Plus, and of course this is very important um, for the visibility of your community. The other thing we're covering in this lesson is how to add an event to your website. You can do that either by, to coming back to the dashboard where you'll find those, these big icons and you know choose add event, or over on the side here you can go to events and add new. The event interface is very much like the post interface. There's a place for a title, some text. What's different is down here there's a place to put in the date and time um, and repetition and location of the event. Um, and then because the photos are optional, that um, area is over here. So let's get started on just making a simple event. So uh, we'll do a picnic on the lawn. And then a little bit of text. And then the next thing to set is um, the date and time. If it's an all-day event, you would just click this and put in your start and end date, and you wouldn't deal with time. But uh, ours won't be, so we're going to have it next Thursday, um, 1 in the afternoon, ending uh, at 3 in the afternoon. If it were a repeating event, you can select this, and then you just select, you know, the frequency of the repetition. Um, so if we say weekly, we would say we want to repeat once a week, and then we'd say the number of repeats would be four, and that would pretty much cover us for the month. But we won't make this um, repeating. We'll just have it be single. And then you can put in an address that will usually be um, the location of your community, but sometimes you have 
off-site um, events, and then you'd put in that address. You do want to generate a Google map, and we'll go and look at what that looks like um, in a minute after we publish this. Again, the event photo is optional, but um, anytime you have a good photo, just put it in. Um, you can upload it or you can go to the media library and it is likely that you might be able to find something useful um, in the media library. For instance, we could put in this uh, potato salad. So we're all set. We have the title, we have a little bit of a description, um, we have our date and time information, we have a location, and we are going to have a Google map. So we're going to hit publish. And again, this is going to go out to Facebook and Google Plus, so it's going to say, are you really ready? We are, so we're going to hit OK. So let's look at the events out on Facebook and Google Plus. Um, on Google Plus, you can see this is the event we just posted. So we have the photo, um, the title, and the little bit of text we put in. Again, this will link us back to the website. Um, with the event opening up. I wanted to show you one other thing though. If you don't put in an image, we have uh, a little stock of um, stock images that are in the media library that will automatically get added if there is no um, image that you've put in. So you don't really need to worry about it for them coming out here to um, Facebook and Google Plus. We've provided images. If you don't have a good image, don't worry about it. Get your event up. So again, you click on it, you'll come back to the website, um, to the calendar page, and then it will open to that particular event. So there's our potato salad and our um, map. Um, same thing with Facebook. This is all familiar to you now. So you would just click on that and um, again, it will open up to the calendar page and then that event will open up. It's a little bit slow right now for some reason, um, but it will eventually drop to that, there it goes, to that event. So you can see it's really important to get your um, posts and events out there because they're gonna do a lot of work for your website in terms of generating traffic and interest. Okay, thank you.